Hello friends, this is Cauldron, back with Dragon Age Inquisition. We are here in the Emerald Graves. I uh, just finished collecting a bunch of shards, and we're going to keep on moving up to the north side uh, to meet a fallen sister, Freeman target named Sister Costo, who was last stationed at the Viridian Mine in the Emerald Graves. Uh, yeah, let's go see her. I think she's, I thought she was an enemy, but I guess we'll see. So we have a statue here. This is another of those evangelism things. I'm not going to complain about the jumping puzzle, because there is no jumping puzzle. There's an easy answer, I just have to find it. Yep, see, just walk up here and loop around. It's fine. The guide. Historians have been unable to identify the mysterious and cloaked figure, point, pointing figure in the Emerald Graves. Some believe it a representation of the elven god Falondin, also known also as the friend of the dead or the guide. Others believe it an elaborate elven joke, its punchline lost to time. From a journey through the dales by Lord Horace Medford, adventurer. Where are you pointing? That way. Let's follow it. So we got some enemies over here. Freeman? Yeah, Freeman. Hello, friends. Oh, Verde of Mind. This is where I was going to anyway. Whoa. Some of this area effect damage is pretty sweet. Go Solus. Scrawled note. You've heard how the Dalish would hang trespassers. Hung them from trees is what they say. Would you believe that you can still see them? I swear on the maker's beard, when I saw that face in the tree, I just about pissed myself. The screaming face of a murdered bastard right in front of me. I was afraid if I stayed long, I would hear it howling. Hadn't even been drinking. Don't believe me? Go see for yourself. So there's like spectral trees of the murdered elves. That's disturbing. Oh, let me get behind your shield. Oh, it doesn't really matter, you're dead. Heraldic symbol, interesting. So this is, yeah, just uh, the, the mines, the Viridium mines. Lots of quests here, holy crap. Got a mushroom, super important. Destroy! Barrack approves. Oh, that was a red lyrium. That was red lyrium, okay. Thought it was just something I was blowing away to get to the thing underneath. Um. Yeah, let's kill some more people. Any party here? Oh, they're over there. Fairbanks again. I've had enough of these intrusions. Don't quite know who said that. Is that Sister Costo? Kutro? Something? Mosaic piece, yes! Invasion. Is there a boss here or something? Oh, Sister Custo. Yeah, there she is. You look cool as hell. Nice. Fallen sister. Soul? Let me read this item first. Soul Kisser. Okay, just a mace. Gertrude. The gods had a key. It's over there. Where? Where is the key? I Not that okay. way. Oh, damn it. Where? No, the, the, the other way. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Please, I don't want to die here. I'm trying. Maybe it's You're in the... the wrong way. 
Well, god damn it. This way? Not that way. What the actual fuck? This way yes, then. That way. Okay. Oh my god. Yes, that way. <laughs> yes, that way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's for you. You have it. Please, please open the door. I can't stand it in here another second. Yeah, no problem. Just <laughs> Okay. All right. So Okay. Are you quest givers now? Read from Sister Costo. Hugh. Yes, I know what Duheim thinks about the people in Watcher's Reach. He's wrong. The refugees think us monsters, all because Duheim and his like. If they get in the way, I suppose we must eliminate them. But we will not hunt them. We will not murder them unless they force our hand. I hope you understand. Yours very faithfully, Sister Costo. Vicious thug from the Freeman Villa. Okay. From Sister Costo. As I have said, there's no reason to worry about the other Freeman cells. Since we are in the Dales, I shall invoke the heathen philosophy of Vir Adalen, the way of the wood. Each tree is part of a greater whole. It's the same with us. We are all part of a greater plan. The Dales will be ours, that I promise. I don't just quite understand what she's doing, what her goal was before, you know, she died. She was working with the free, freemen, maybe? Deluded Chevalier, go to Argon's Lodge. I don't know why, but okay. So, you're just gonna chill out here, I guess? Paragon Bronca carving. I remember her well, or vaguely at least, if not well. Even dagger. So, what are you up to now? I don't know. Um, but let us go find a smuggler letter, I guess. What is. Okay, so we have some art on the wall here. There's some skeletal beings riding on antlered things. We got a small one, and they gradually get bigger. Goblins or dark spawn? I don't know. We'll take a letter home, my dearest Aline. Have you had news of the war? They say it will take over all or lay. People say the mine's about to be shut down. No one wants to be caught in the middle of the fighting. Had a good thing here. Good coin. In a year or two, I might have made enough to go home and marry. Now this war's come along and ruined everything. I'll stay as long as I can. Don't wait for me. Leave as soon as you can. Perhaps in a city like mont there will be guards and militia keeping the peace. Your brother, John. Just kind of news from people caught in the crossfire. Excuse me, hiccups. Um, okay. So, ooh, what's that? Can we get across there? Or are we gonna die? Oh my god, we're gonna die. Don't push me. This is so stressful. Bird, what are you doing? No, Varric, god damn it. <laughs> are you gonna... Are you invisible? No, what the... F My party is the worst. My party is terrible. I guess they're telling me I have to move quickly or else the party's gonna push me off. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, no, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Yup, okay, there we go. Let's try again. Okay. You're gonna have to... This isn't really gonna work. I mean... Okay. Now I'm her. No! Okay, I have to outrace my party. 
<laughs> God, that was stressful. Um, battle Mage Mail, okay. No! <laughs> there, okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay, we made it back. Safely across. Safe and sound. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, that for Battle Mage Mail. For more Freeman. Discovered Peacewood. It's an ironic name considering the number of people we just killed to reach it. Alright, so we're looking for smuggler letters. Let me, I don't remember why we're looking for smuggler letters. Um, much like the Inquisition, Corypheus has invested great time in build effort building a trusted inner circle. Samson is a former Templar, Lyrium addict, and now the leader of the Red Templars. Cullen knows Samson well and believes inspecting caravans, smuggling Red Lyrium in the Emerald Graves could get the Inquisition close to taking him down. Okay. Good, good, good. So we're get looking for smuggler letters to get a better grasp on Samson. Must get all the flowers. Every last one. Except that one. Andraste is mercy. Elves were guilty of the greatest sin, of turning from the Maker. But we will show them mercy, for that is what Andraste teaches. From a servant given by the atrocious Sister Amity at the conclusion of the Exalted March of the Dales. Hello, Freeman. Oh, Lyrium Smuggler Alert. Trying to disappear on me. Gotcha. You know, out here, I almost feel like I could forget about the war. Almost. Do you remember how many people you've killed in the last ten minutes? It's a lot. It's a lot of people. Is this is smuggler letter. Monthly report. Master Kells, the numbers are fantastic, sir. Trade's booming with all this lyrium showing up. Maybe it's red instead of blue, but people are still buying. That mage we picked up can look into what that color means. He needs to start earning his keep. Excuse me. We have more coin on hand, too. No need to pound some greasy dwarf since the red stuff isn't from the deep roads. Must be killing them. Someone struck lyrium up here and they're not getting a piece. Vishlin. I don't know if the dwarves want it. this red lyrium's not coming from the deep roads. I don't know why we do have red lyrium now. That seems like a bad idea. Um, is that quest down in the river? Yeah, Silver Falls. Andraste guides her to our final rest. Investigate the fatal fall. Where? Over there, okay. Do we double back? I don't want to get too far. I kind of want to use these um, things as waypoints. Let's push onto the rift and then loop back. I'm going to loop back west. There's the rift. What level are you? Fifteen. Okay. What just happened? God, you jerk face. Okay, you're getting tanked. Oh, but this person isn't. This greater terror is not getting tanked. There we go. Oh. Need good loot. 
completed. Rifts at the Cove. Okay. Terror Talons. Uh, let me just check. I don't think there's a new codex, codex for these. I think I've already seen them. Yeah. Silver Falls. No elven treasure was hidden beneath the falls. That ridiculous tale lost me six soldiers. If I find the man who started the rumor, I'll kill him myself. From the journey, journal of Captain Marsan, dated 220 Glory. No, we'll investigate that soon. Um, for now, let's head to check out that uh, camp over there. You think is that where I'm going? Yeah. Briathos's steps. I wonder who Briathos was. Oh, I wonder what that is. Some kind of elven fort? It looks elven. Or Elysian. I don't really know in this game. Now we're making progress. Discovered Villa Morel. Oh, this is the villa. Yeah, there's going to be some more death here. Ooh, big, big, big person over there. Freeman Veteran. Ooh, you're... Yeah, so we're going to standard tactics take out the for the Malefence plans. It's an evil name if ever I heard one. Oh, I love the, the armor destruction ability is my favorite. Absolute favorite. Nothing to fear. Taking advantage of the chaos of war. Villa Morelki and Glittering Darmalin, a great axe. Oh, nice. One of the things I'm considering just playstyle wise is I might eventually switch to a um, scribble notes. Did you hear Sister Costo has fallen? Surprised it took so long. She was soft, said the dead person. Unfortunately, we also lost the rats we were going to send to Suladin. We have to make sure this doesn't happen again. So if I came here first, I'm guessing that maybe sister, maybe she would have had a different note. I don't know. A lot of free men orders. The Betrayer. Even Mavarath has a part to play. Who are we to say elves do not? From a sermon given by Sister Amity at the conclusion of the Exalted March of the Dales. Very generous of her. So before engaging those enemies, anything here? Loot, okay. Yeah, so this person was just kind of looting the whole area, I guess. Duheim's notes. August has made great progress has made progress in the exalted plains. We are together in this, but maker's breath, how that irks me. That weapon or whatever secret is hidden in those glyphs is mine by rights. Maliphant trusts me most. Bah, he won't have it not while I live. What weapon? I don't know. Hmm. Hard in High Town, Chapter 9 by Varric Tethris. Don and Brnakovich was running out of leads to chase. He had only two weeks left until retirement. Just two weeks to find the man who'd murdered a magistrate and a high town nobleman if Captain Hendolent didn't kick him from the ranks first. The dock stank of piss and rotting fish, as foul as the men and women who worked there. But that was where Donnan had to go to find the raider Captain Belladonna who had broken into the Comte de Fab's home. The Dragon's Jewels was a big boat. She liked big boats. She cannot lie. The pointy bits towered majestically over the water. That roundish wooden part seemed like it could crush armadas beneath its shit, I don't know, wood. It was the greatest boat in the history of boats. But even from the dock, Donnan knew something was wrong. He ran up the gangplank to find a dead sailor on the deck and a blood trail leading down into the hold. Donnan drew his sword and followed. 
His eyes still hadn't adjusted to the dimness of the lower decks when he tripped over a second dead sailor, stabbed in the gut and left where he'd fallen. The body was still warm. The ship creaked with every swell of the waves. Donnan held his breath and crept deeper into the hold. He barely deflected the blade in time. Steel rang against steel. Donnan parried a second blow, still half blind in the low light. The third swing got past his guard and left a wicked slash in his forearm. I don't know who's... Nobody attacks my crew, you flaming pile of dog shit, the attacker swore, and Donnan recognized her voice. Hold, Kirkwall City Guard, he shouted, barely bringing up his blade in time. You again. You again. I don't know her voice. Don's eyes finally began to adjust, and he could make out Captain Belladonna. She was clutching her ribs with her right hand, a dagger in her left, and was covered in enough blood that Donnan was sure it wasn't all hers. She glowered at him. Could have used a guard not five minutes ago, useless as ever. I don't know why she's a bad Irish voice, maybe, I don't know. She grudgingly lowered her weapon. Don unsheathed his sword. Who did this? Don't know. Didn't ask, here to ask. She sniffed. Bastard killed two of me men before I cut off his hand and he bolted. She waved indifferently toward the rear of the hold. It's over there somewhere. Did he take the cop's shipment? Donnan asked. No, if that's what this was about, you can have it. She limped over to a trunk and removed a bundle of cloth tied with twine. She threw it at Donnan's feet. Good riddance, me lad. Hard Night Town continues, the epic saga. I'm surprised that Varric doesn't have any dialogue with it. Like, that was my favorite chapter, or I don't know how, I don't remember. I was so drunk I don't remember writing that piece. Um... All right, let's explore the rest of the villa here. There's a cave up there, interesting. Enter Vila Morel. I'm not in Vila Morel. Maybe this is just the outside of it. Oh, Vila is maybe, maybe the cave is the house in this case. Hmm. Okay, so we got some people over here. And we got Malifant. Oh, boop, gotcha. We got Malephant um, and the cave up ahead, it looks like. Battle tactics told me it's important to pick that flower. I thought someone said flank them, didn't they? Freeman Captain. Kind of alone here, aren't you? Music is super intense right now. Are you hearing this? Open. Going, Varric. Gold ring of staggering. That sounds pretty okay. That's not okay. Okay. Cleared out some stuff for now, but it's only going to hold temporarily. Duheim's notes. The shipments are prepared, and once again the rats from Watcher's Reach are getting in my way. One woman got far enough into my camp to look in the crates, scrounging for food, no doubt. Sneaky little peasants, tra perhaps trapped next time? I don't think there's any real point in the second door, but just for the sake of completion, I guess, we'll do that. Oh, this is um, more red lyrium. Okay. I'm getting pretty close on the uh, on Varric's quest. Only a couple more left. Probably another zone after this. One more. All right. 
let's check the villa here. So this is specifically the different part of the villa, I guess. And the key from before should hopefully open this. Yes, it does. Ooh, dungeon. Villa Morel discovered Freeman's front should be holed up here. Warrior, this okay. Seen better days. These men are thugs. What do you expect? Bow of helpful hazard. Ugh, oh, gonna have to throw out more stuff pretty soon. I haven't heard anything from the plane, have you? No, nothing recent anyway. Have you heard this? From the plane, so the exalted planes, I think, are the planes they're talking about. Elite sniper bow. Back in a sec. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that every so often, and I'll just I'll stop back after I get to the next campsite to uh, town. Pages from Lord Morel's journal. The journal of one of the villa's former owners. The current occupants tossed it aside. Artem is the very soul of discretion. They could have a Templar to dinner, and they would be none of the wi none of wiser. If the Templars haven't gone off to do maker knows what, I might try it. Valerie complains, but the Empress herself has such an advisor. Why not me? So like uh. Artem is a um, is a an apostate. Then his services are useful, and no one could better ensure security. See the traitor, maybe. No matter the distractions, the city will ease her mind soon enough. Hmm. Court. Oh, Malefant. I didn't even know we were about to kill you. I'm not the most observant bear in the world. Seems to be the last of them. Yeah. I'm guessing that was the man in charge. He struck a blow against the Freeman. From what we've heard, I'm not sorry to see him go. Yeah, screw him. Red Templar note. A letter Red Templar orders. A letter bearing the Templar seal. Have a chat with Malefant. Make sure everything's running smoothly. While there, see if any of his men might wish to volunteer their services in Empress de Leon. We could always use a few more. Be discreet. Malefant's useful. I doubt he'd remain so if he thinks we're stealing his soldiers. So, Corypheus, or, yeah, I'm guessing it's Corypheus. Seems we interrupted their meeting with the Templars. They weren't expecting us. Whatever they came for might still be here. Hmm. Yeah, so a couple different factions in play here, it looks like. So, yeah, I don't want to. I want to make sure we're s not skipping too much here, or anything, if possible. Maleficent's journals. Maleficent kept several journals. This one spans the time Maleficent spent as a sergeant in the Imperial Army. I see Lorenz's death in my mind all the time. The man who killed her, one of the usurper's soldiers. Was familiar usurper. Lorenz's death, one of the usurper's soldiers. I'm not sure who the usurper is. I wouldn't be surprised if I once shared a drink. Oh no, no, no okay. If I once shared a drink, no, I don't know. Isn't that how it is, brother against brother? Priests tell me to remember Lorenz's life, not her death. So I try to recall years past, the countless times she saved me. The day we first met when I was a young recruit who almost pissed himself at her barked orders. Because of her, I learned discipline and control. She instilled in me pride in what we did. She taught me how to use a sword. More importantly, she taught me how to keep it sheathed. She was fearless, strong, regal, and she was cut down like a common peasant by someone we may have once known. Well, and Yeah, this is the wars, but okay, I gotcha. Will Celine? Will anyone remember who Will Celine? Some pages later. There's a new soldier in our battalion, Gordian. He's an odd fellow with an accent I can't place. This is the mole, maybe? Like, he did spent time in the marches. Doesn't matter. In the end, he's been a comfort listening to me talk about those who died. He also lost friends in Celine's war, and he's tired like we are. 
He said a very wise thing. There is no war without soldiers. The Empress can't wage her war if we refuse to fight. Orle should belong to Orlesians. I guess, I don't, maybe now I don't know who the usurper was that he's talking about. If, again, if this is something that I should know, and I feel like it definitely is, then any help understanding what's going on here is appreciated. Pots and pans, nothing too much going on here. Buzz Must be something here. Let's look around. Part of the key. Key fragment. Rune inscribed on it. Or part of one. Huh. Not sure what it could be for. Something in the, in here maybe. Not here, here. Not this room, but something in the villa. Um. Yeah, we definitely want to kind of see everywhere here then. August ram leather. Kind of just sonaring around here. Okay, so we explored all that, and now we kind of keep going to the south part. Key, oh, they tell me where the key fragments are. Okay, good, good, good. Hmm. Can I jump out the window? I probably can. What's that? Oh, Embryum. Okay. Um, I think this is actually going to be a good stopping point. Right here in front of the dead banjo player, or loot player. Um, yeah, that's going to be it for me for now. Next time we will continue exploring this place and getting angry at having too little inventory space. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.